guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i am so happy you found us i'm lisa today we're going to talk about ideas on how to save money purchasing craft supplies let's just get right into this because as you know prices are going up everywhere grocery stores gas pumps everywhere so it's important that we are able to do you know what relieves our stress or how we make our money that those supplies stay extremely affordable. So I'm going to give you some ideas on how to do that. The first idea, of course, is go through your stash. Now, we just spent a year at home, and everybody's probably been through their stash like 10 times or more. So that one might not apply anymore, if we're all honest. If it does, go through your stash. But if it doesn't, I have some more ideas for you. First off, recycle and reuse. And I know not everybody likes this one. They like bright, new, and I get that. I do. But if, if you never even tried to recycle or reuse something, why don't you try it? And start with your junk mail. I mean, that's like brand new paper, okay? It may not be paper that you want to use, but look at the colors, look at the graphics. This is for license plates, you know, to order custom license plate. Came in my mail. Look in your water bill. I don't know about you, but our water bills are full of wasted paper. So why not, you know, put it to use? There's some pretty graphics, some pretty colors. If nothing else, it could make a good card, you know, or it could make a good belly band because it's, this is thick. Okay, I get, I mean, here, water bills. And I know they were like this in Texas as well. Okay, envelopes. These are great to, we've seen many videos on how to reuse envelopes. Okay, maybe you have medication that comes with a bunch of packaging. That's a good place. Look, this is a really cool book and it's, a really thick book so look at items in that packaging this is from Christmas but oops this is from Christmas but it's cardboard it would make great tags uh, great tuck spots some tabs for the end of pages it's a good packaging so think packaging and lastly I know you don't like to use food but what about food that comes wrapped like this could be a really great pocket or center of a journal and you could put all sorts of journaling cards and everything remember this wasn't plain chocolate in here it was wrapped so this is a good option and and like I said just try it one time if you don't like it you don't have to do it again but at least try it one time remember telling your kids that for broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts now the next thing you can do that depending on how you swap or trade might have a low cost or a big cost like mailing or if you have friends that are crafters in your same area maybe put together boxes and switch with your friends there's also a site that i'm going to put up it's called freecycle.org and it pop you sign up and the towns there around you will pop up and you're automatically in this network of freecycle Check to see if they have craft supplies there. It just really depends. But like I said, if you have a group of friends that all craft, try filling boxes and passing it around. That's a great way to get save money on craft supplies. All these ways so far are, are zero cost. Unless you trade or swap with somebody that you have to mail it. And then you have a cost. And mailing's expensive too. So I would say just try swapping with friends. Okay, now the next level is like tier two, okay? We just did tier one, which was basically totally free unless you mail. Now tier two is still very, very affordable. That is your thrift stores, your estate sales. Um, I went to a garage sale and I picked up... Okay, so I haven't shown this yet. So you're getting a garage sale haul and... Saving money tips. That's a pretty good deal. So I went to this garage sale. And they had all these beautiful big size silver doilies. 
Um, they had some more doilies. I mean, just tons that I was thinking way ahead to, obviously, Christmas. And they also had some red ones and some gold ones. Okay? So I walked up and I paid for those very cheaply. They were all 25 cents a piece, which wasn't bad. Some of them even less than that. And she ended up saying, hey, why don't you go grab the heart doilies that are left and I'll give them to you. So I got the heart doilies free. She also gave me this whole stack free. So if you go to garage sales, especially garage sales that maybe aren't selling a lot in the craft or home section of their garage sale, they give it to you free because they don't want to pack it back into their house. So garage sales are huge, huge, huge must if you want to save money on craft supplies. Another huge must, estate sales. Because sometimes you'll get to the to the checkout, and in my case, a lot of times, the, they add up the bigger things, but then when you get to the paper or the um, box of envelopes or, you know, doilies or just printer paper, whatever, um, um, file folders, they'll say, oh, you can have that for free. So that's a great option, is estate sales. Great way to keep um, costs down. Thrift stores, you know, I've gotten three notebooks for 75 cents. Not a bad deal. Dollar Tree, always a dollar. It's good. You just have to remember if you go in there, stay on your budget. Set you a budget before you walk into Dollar Tree and stick to it. Otherwise, Dollar Tree can get really expensive really fast. Also, Target Dollar Spot. Same thing, stick to your budget and don't leave the dollar spot. I mean, just go check out. Don't go wander through the rest of Target. You could be in trouble. Now, these next two stores, Walmart and Tuesday Morning, I kind of have a problem with. Sometimes their stuff seems a little higher than it should be, especially Tuesday Morning. I feel like, yes, they discount it, but they don't discount it, if that makes sense. And Walmart, I just think their prices have gone up. And I think they need to go back to what their base store was for. And, yeah, I just think all the prices have gone up in those stores, which they have. That's why, you know, stores really aren't top of my list for saving money. Next, we have the craft stores. Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. Okay. Only shop sales and with coupons. You can get really good deals that way. Otherwise, you're going to pay a fortune. Or I feel like I pay a fortune. I think they just, it's unreal how expensive they've gotten. And then you add on the cost of things rising right now anyway. It's really crazy. Okay, online shopping. Online craft stores. Online Amazon and that's totally separate and I'm gonna link my Amazon Prime day It was probably at the beginning of this video But I'll put the link to that video down in the comments as well or go back and watch the first part of this video again The cards up in the front So I'm not gonna talk about Amazon, but go watch that video uh, online craft stores like scrapbook.com um, There's a couple of more they'll pop up in a minute these tend to be pricey like a store, plus then you have shipping thrown in. Now, if you get free shipping, you know, and you don't feel like going out to Michael's, jo uh, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby, they're good, and sometimes they have better sales, but then if you have to add in the shipping. Now, taxes are pretty much applied across the board. Used to a long time ago. The internet didn't have the taxes that the stores had. So even if they weren't running a sale, you got free and you could get free shipping. It was a better deal. Not anymore. So online shopping is right under Joann's, Michael's, and Hobby Lobby. Because it can be cheaper if you can get free shipping and a sale. But anyway. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you got some ideas how to find more affordable craft supplies, maybe start a trade guild or a trade, I don't know, swap group with friends and neighbors in your area. Anyway, guys, have an awesome day. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.